Uzi proved every one of you guys wrong. Why? Proved how? <laughs> proved it wrong. See, because I was I was listening. Proved what wrong? Everyone. So everyone, yo, everyone. As soon as I went to New York and I said for Uzi, I posted the tickets on my my story. Yeah. Everyone. Yo, there was like 20 DMs. Gavin, be safe, bro. Be safe. I'm like... Wait, why? Yeah. Why? Because everyone thinks that Uzi is demonic, right? He is demonic. No, he's not. And he proved what that. What the fuck? And of course he he's demonic. proved that in the concert. Because the whole concert was like a one big story. Right? Yeah. So so at the beginning, mm -hmm. uh, everyone knows that like there was like girls on the, on the screen. And okay. they're saying, Uzi... Uzi, come out wherever you are and shit like that, yeah. right? I'll, I'll play it. Hold on. Because he was like, There's hey. a theory for the concert, fam. Yeah, yeah. Word. That shit looks demonic already, yeah, though. Yeah, it does look. Hold on. See? Yeah. Pink tape number one. When, when number one, we helped you come to the dark side. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So that doesn't mean he's in the dark side. This is definitely demonic, but it's saying that come to the dark side, right? And then later on, there's another one. Uh, it comes back on the screen. Yeah. And it goes... He will find you. And then look what Uzi says. He will destroy you. Okay, I have no, my no, theory no, on no, it. No, I have no, my no, theory no, on no, it, no, though. Now look, now look. Yeah. look. look what what said you should have listened yeah you should have obeyed him yeah and look what he says shut the fuck up bitch <laughs> so he's the whole time yeah and then uh when, while that was going on mm. a big oni you know what an oni is the the demonic spirit no no it's, it's like, actually it's like, not it's a japanese demon face yeah it's yeah. a japanese demon face to lead away the, the evil spirits so mm -hmm. that came he up has that tattered on him yeah, yeah, yeah he has that tattered while, on his, on his while, chest while they were uh he was saying uzi come to the dark side yeah he was like fuck that like the whole show he was they were trying to find him mm -hmm. and then every time he said no i'm not going and then started another song word okay this is my take so go go this is my take. Your take this is my take right <clears throat> yeah because we obviously know he dabbles with the demonic shit. For sure. He has a he has a upside down cross tattered on his tongue. Uh, I think he got that removed, but what? Yeah, he doesn't have that no more. He just had it, don't? No. I swear he just got it. Like, that was like that was like um when he was on his dark shit and he released Demon High. That's when he did all that propaganda. I swear he just dropped that like last month. No, no, no. You can check. Word. When he goes like this, there was none. Okay. Anyways, yeah. we know like he fucks with upside down crosses, all the demonic shit, right? Mm -hmm. Now my theory is. He did sell his soul, mm -hmm. but now he's trying to fight back. Yeah, because Facts. because that's what happens. Like all of these rap, like I said before with the Travis Scott thing, mm -hmm. all these rappers, all these celebrities, they realize, oh, we fucked up. Yeah. Because the end of times is coming, fam. Yeah. And then now they know, they realize now, he's definitely demonic. Don't get me wrong, he's definitely demonic, but he has to switch now. Hundred percent. And it's never it's never over though. Yeah. That's the good part. It's never like too late. He can always be safe, fam. <laughs> And maybe this is his like awakening to try and come back, yeah. which is good uh -huh. because a lot of the times you see these people try to play it on for too long, not even play it on, but really take or, take on the persona. You know the Doja Cat thing? What what Doja Cat? So thing? you know how Doja Cat's like super demonic, right? Uh -huh. You know that one uh, promo she posted for her song, and it used the same like font as Friends. Oh, I was gonna say, yeah, yeah, yeah. So people are saying that that's a representation. Of the Illuminati sacrifice they did on, on, Matthew uh, Perry. on Matthew Perry. Yeah, yeah. Check this out. Remember when you said the the cranberries that he put on the table? Remember yeah, that video? That was for the what do you call this? The lead singer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What what about it? Check this out. So apparently, apparently the Hunger Games is real, fam. Apparently, what? you know the berries in the Hunger Games that could kill you. Yeah. And you just eat them and you die. Okay. Those berries that he put on the table, they're not actually no. cranberries they're called bane berries now bane berries what happens when you take them what happens you go into cardiac arrest no and it doesn't show up that you've taken anything on a toxology report nah nah crazy what the that's confirmed so that's the berries he was putting on the table that wasn't cranberries those are called bane berries okay what the fuck mm -hmm. hunger games is real fam nah crazy and and you brought up the, the the doja thing right yeah did you notice that in between uh the d and the e there's no dot mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah yeah so in the original friends there's all the dots but in doja cat's ad 
that's when um uh there was no dot in between the D, which represents like, oh yeah, we're gonna take away one of your members. Yeah, it's represented like one of them is yeah. gonna go missing, one of them isn't there. Yeah, and there's an interview out uh that Matthew Perry confirmed that he did try to sell his soul. Word. You wanna, you wanna see, you wanna see, I'll, oh I'll show you. shit! So fucked, so fucked. Ready? Jesus is coming. I told y'all, Jesus is coming, fam. Yeah. <laughs> and a lot of people are saying that, yeah, it was planned because of this interview. He said, "Look, crazy." In my life, I knelt down and prayed, and that prayer was, "Please, God, make me famous. You can do anything." Oh, I heard about this. Just make me famous. Three weeks later, I got friends. And God did not forget about the second <laughs> So he Which said, was, do anything to yeah, me. Yeah, do anything. Fuck. But imagine right after he did that, he got friends, one of the biggest roles he's ever played. Damn, bro. Which is crazy. That, because that's obviously, uh, he he said God in the sentence, but you know, the devil could be listening to you, your prayers too. Mm -hmm. And that's when like, obviously God's not going to give that to him. But Yeah, things can go your way, but there might be something that you don't foresee. Especially you have the wrong like aspiration toward yeah. it. Because if you want something great, but getting something great, because a lot of times this happens, mm -hmm. you strive for something, but it's at the cost of something else. Yeah, More times it always is. Mm -hmm. Whether it be like your time with family, um, shit, even just your your true dreams behind yeah. it, and you you try and achieve something else that may be monetary. Yeah, you kind of sell a little bit of yourself somewhere. Mm -hmm. Now that dilemma is literally common in everybody's career, yeah. no matter what where you ended up. At some point, you gave up something to do what you're doing right now. <laughs> yeah, isn't that fun? Bro, I remember, um, so this is what happened in New York before um, the concert, right? Mm. And I had to literally pray to God because there's no way that this happened to me, right? What happened? So we were, I, I came, uh, the concert started at 8 yeah. p.m. So I started lining up at 7. And the line was mad long because obviously Barclays Center, all the Ubers trying to get in and stuff. Everyone's lining up, right? So I'm going, I'm waiting in line. It gets to 8. I'm finally at the gates, mm. right? And the person in front of me, uh, when you scan your ticket, uh, you usually have to just scan it and it'll go green and you can go, right? So yeah. the two people in front of me scanned it and it went red. In my head, I'm thinking, haha, you probably bought a fake ticket. I'm laughing at them in my head and yeah. like shit like that, right? The guy goes, nope, 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 you can't get in. There's probably a fake ticket, go. Yeah. No, no help whatsoever because it's New York. They don't fucking care about you. I go, I'm like, okay, I already have my ticket. Ticketmaster doesn't sell fakes. Yeah. I scan it. It goes red. Oh, shit. I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm telling the guy, yeah. I'm like, no, no, no. I have the email right here. He's like, nope, nope. Scan it again. Red. Oh, Fam. shit. I'm like, I'm there like, yo, who can I talk to? He's like, go to the box office. Or I'm running to the box office. Yeah. I already hear the DJ starting. Fam. Oh, my. <laughs> so, so I go to the box office. I'm like, he's like, yo, what, what's the matter, bro? Like, hurry up. I'm like, oh, my, my tickets is lighting up red. He's like, bro, I can't help you. Like, you got to go to the other side or something or to help you or the Damn. other lineup. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, bro, I literally flew here. I, t I flew here to see Uzi. I'm, there's no way I'm not getting in, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm praying to God, like, yo, God, if you, <laughs> if you help me right now, fam, I will not spend, like, more than $100 <laughs> on a To Uzi eats. concert is kind of crazy, though. To a Uzi concert is so, so I, I wore my rosary. <laughs> but so I lined up in another line. Fam, I waited there for another 30 minutes. Red still. Mm -hmm. The person that, that told me, he's like, no, you have to go to the front because this is all GA. You have a VIP ticket. I'm like, oh, my God. Oh, that makes sense. I'm like, yo, God. That makes sense. I have no Wi-Fi, no nothing. To yeah, because you're just not in the right section. That's what it is, fam. Fam, I got so scared, bro. Imagine spending all your bread just to go to No, at that point, that's, that sucks. That sucks. Yo, if you flew out there... <laughs> If you flew out there, you had the plants, and you're just out there just holding your piece like this, yo, you're, you're cooked. <laughs> Fam, if I actually didn't get it, I would just flew home, to be honest, because <laughs> I would be so pissed. It's sold out, right? It yeah, it's it sold out. Fuck. It was sold out. Fam. Imagine that happened to you for like a Drake concert, <laughs> oh where, where the, the tickets, you couldn't even buy a next ticket. It would have been like way too expensive. I know, yeah. It was fucked, wow. but yeah, it was a great concert at the end of the day. I had my rosary on, so no bad spirits were on me. So that's good. You didn't get bad vibes from it? Nah. At all? Oh, the only when they were talking. Because mm. you can see me in my video, I kind of put the camera down when, when they were like, Uzi. Because <laughs> they specifically said Uzi six times, and the sixth one had a, a reverb. It was like, Oh fuck! Yeah, so I'm like, nah, See, not man, that's back. what I'm saying. So, hundred percent, he was demonic. Hundred percent. Yeah, he was. Yeah, hundred percent. Mm -hmm. We all know this, bro. Mm -hmm. But now, 
you know, it's, he's probably like looking the other way. And yeah. Shit, right? and, so. and he confirmed that too, kind of, because at the end of the concert, he said, oh, yeah, for my last album I'm ever dropping, I'm going back to my old ways. Mm. You know what I mean? So his old ways, he was, I don't think he sold his soul before. So he's going to probably do. It's hard to know, bro. Yeah. It's hard to know. I just don't know. <laughs> shit, shit is all PR at the end of the day. We, <laughs> <laughs> shit is all PR, fam. We actually don't know, fam. Did you, did you watch um, the new Hunger Games? There's a new one? There's a new one, yeah. No, what? So there's, there's a Hunger Games where it's like um, the first... Is this like, like a Darman? Like, <laughs> it's like the 12th Hunger Games or something. The fuck? Early, early. So you know the, the president in Hunger Games? Yeah. This is him as a kid. Or like him as like a teenager. Okay. So you, you don't watch it? <coughs> no, I didn't. Anyways, anyways. There's, um, there's an actress that's in it. And she was really good. Yeah. But what's crazy is she actually got casted to play Snow White. Okay. Check this out. She's actually getting canceled everywhere though. Why? On on TikTok, on YouTube Shorts, everything. Why? Why? Because she was acting like really rude on all her interviews. She had no PR training, fam. No. Check this out. So you know how when um the what's her name Halle Halle, Halle Berry. Mm. So you know how she was casted for Little Mermaid. Mermaid, yeah, yeah. And then. When they ask her questions, he's like, "Oh, were you a Little Mermaid fan? This and that." It's like, "Yeah, I love Little Mermaid. This and of that." Course, no. They ask, they ask Rachel Zegler, <laughs> the star, <of> them, <laughs> to ask her. So, do you, do you know about um, Snow White? Did you watch it as a kid? He's like, uh, "To be honest, I never really liked Snow White." <laughs> <laughs> She's like, "I tried watching, I couldn't watch." <laughs> no way. <laughs> She's just shitting on it. Yo, she's she's shitting on it so bad. No she sounds way. so rude. And then, fam, there was, like, another clip where she's, like, um... Do you have the video? Show me the video. I want to see how, like, her tone... Here, I'll show you. I'll show you. Because if it was in a happy tone, but maybe it would have, like, been disguised. Like, oh, no, I never watched Snow White, but I really fucked with it. But if it was, like, a... Nah, Snow White, what the fuck? So, here, five reasons everyone hates Rachel Zagler. <laughs> I don't have a vid exactly, but let's see what happens. Let's see. I think I watched it once and then I never picked it up again. Oh, no, that's the, crazy. The original cartoon came out in 1937 yeah. and very evidently so. <laughs> yeah. Weird. Weird. Sex. No, she said more shit. Yeah. This is not all of it. I'm trying to find it though. <laughs> Only to often voice how much she hates the original. I was scared of the original cartoon. I think I watched it once and then I never picked it up again. No PR. <laughs> no PR. And then there was one, there was one clip where she's like, um, <laughs> She's like, she's like, uh, yo, for every hour that this movie gets played or yeah. streamed or whatever, mm. I better get paid a bag. That's your no. <laughs> in her interviews, bro. If I'm gonna stand there 18 hours in a dress of an iconic Disney princess. I deserve to be paid for every hour that it is streamed online. Because to be honest, though, she's an upcoming actor. I don't blame her. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But I think like, you should have like. Comment, comment, PR PR sense, you know the, the SpongeBob meme with the fire? Yeah, <laughs> that's bro. her PR team in the back. <laughs> what the fuck? Yo, it was bad. Like, cause I, I watched, <sighs> I try to really like get a good opinion on it. Yeah. Cause I'm one of those. I'm not gonna try and cancel somebody if they don't deserve it. I'm yeah. not gonna lie. It's kind of bad. Okay. So she was really kind of shitting on it, and she kind of felt like you know, uh, it. She she deserves more than what she she's not really like yeah. humble with it. Okay. At the same time. When you're in that field as like yeah. an upcoming actor, actress, you, you might a, feel that you have like an edge, you have a chip on your shoulder, you know, that's what it is. You have a honest. brand to protect at the end of the day, fam. Mm. That, that's one of those ones is like, you really just want to clock, you know, Jokic, who's, uh, he's like, he's like so, NBA, he's his side hustle. Yeah. In all his interviews, he really doesn't care about the NBA. He just wants to go home. That's literally oh, really? what that is. Yeah. Oh, he's, sure. like, he's like, oh, uh, do you, do you realize that you have the most triple doubles accurate NBA history? He's like, I don't care, man. I'm just oh, trying to go. Oh, interviews, he's like, yeah. yeah. It makes sense. Cause like, at the end of the, like, you get knocked out. You don't want Joe Rogan in the mic no, like, like this in front of your face. You no, and he's an NBA champion out. too. And he's like, yo, the parade's coming to Denver. Are you going to be there? And he's like, yo, uh, I, I don't get to fly back to my country yet. I'm like, bro, he doesn't really care. He really doesn't yeah, care. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, speaking of Hunger Games, though, because okay. I really dove into like all the old Hunger Games conspiracies. Uh -huh. Damn, there's hella. What? There's hella. So, do you ever hear the theory how Katniss Everdeen was the reason Prim got reaped? No, why? So, you know what reaping means, right? Yeah, like Where that. they choose who gets to go and fight in the games. Yeah, yeah. The theory goes... That Katniss is the reason she was picked. Now, in the book and even in the movie, uh -huh. you know, she went to that one, like, it's a it's a black market where they sell trinkets and shit. Okay, yeah. And she got the Mockingjay pin. Mm -hmm. Now, the Mockingjay is the reason 
Prim was chosen because the pin resembles and it's a symbol for rebellion. Now, oh, no. theory goes that when they're deciding who to pick for the reaping, uh-huh. they seen her with the pin and decided to choose her to get rid of a rebel. What? Now, because the Mockingjay itself, the uh-huh. reason it's it's a, a rebellious symbol mm-hmm. is because, you know, the Jabber Jays, it was, it was those birds that can like copy voices and okay, shit. Yeah, yeah. The Mockingjay, it became like a natural thing where other birds, I'm pretty sure like real birds, they mm-hmm. ended up mating with the Jabber Jays and then it created the Mockingjay. Oh, so the Mockingjay shit. is an accidental thing. So it's like a sign of like rebellion. Yeah. And all of that shit led up to Prim being caught no. and then Prim being into the reaping and then now Katniss had to like, you know yeah, what I'm talking yeah. about? Fuck. So just because she bought that trinket. Yeah, and gave it to her during the reaping. So she used that girl the whole time. Because remember, she was up in the tree and she was like, Katniss, Katniss. No, that's different. That's different. Oh, that's not Prim. Prim is her sister. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. No, no, Prim's her sister, fam. Oh, okay. I'm thinking about the black girl. You remember that? That's that's a Rue. Rue, oh, that's okay. Rue. I'm thinking about the wrong person. Okay, I, I understand it now. Mm. Fuck. Okay, okay. There's another theory too. Yeah. Check this out. So... There's a there's a theory that the Hunger Games, the whole point of the games, is literally just to test the capabilities of all the districts to see if they could rebel. Check this out. Okay. So every year they have a Hunger Games, right? <laughs> and usually, who would win? The the number one, two, yeah. three districts uh-huh. because they're they're bred to play the games okay. and they're the richer states. Yeah, they had all the D's guys. <laughs> yeah, they had all the D's mans, right? Yeah. Now, whenever and this is proved in the recent film, mm-hmm. the one that just came out, whenever a tribute from one of the one of the poor districts win, mm-hmm. that's a sign a rebellion is happening or is about to happen. Oh. So in the movie that just came out, mm-hmm. when uh I think her name is freaking fuck. I forgot her exactly her name, but the main girl from District Twelve one. Oh shit! There was a rebellion in the in the midst. Mm. Like they were cooking up a rebellion. They're ready to fight back. Yeah. Now in Katniss Everdeen's games too, she won. She won. And where's she from? District Twelve. Damn. So it's a sign right away that if someone from the later districts win, that means they're gonna start a rebellion because they're powerful. They're strong enough. And they're ready and resourceful enough yeah. to, to fight back against capital. That's actually smart, though, for the government. Because that's the easy tell. Like, oh, yeah, it's, a, it's like a litmus test. It's just, <laughs> yeah. like, you know that shit we put in the acid? Oh, fuck. Like, District 12? <laughs> like, all men's are betting? It's like uh, District 12 has, like, a, a negative something on it. Oh, no, plus $5,000 on them? Yeah. And they won? Like, what the fuck? Yeah, fam. <laughs> Shut everything down. Mm. There's also a theory. Yeah. There's also a theory that, um, you know, Katniss fell in love with, with PETA? Peter. Yeah, Peter. There's a theory that she wasn't actually in love with him. What happened was he she got hijacked. So you know how in, in the last Hunger Games film uh-huh. where Peter gets brainwashed? Okay. And he does he's not the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's kind of evil and shit, right? Okay. Theory goes that during the first Hunger Games, where she got bit by the by the Jays and shit. Yeah. Not by the Jays, by the bees, the, the hornets, mm-hmm. the venom that was in her system made her think about Peter. And made her fall in love with him to play out that whole storyline. Where they like kissed under the rock and shit. Yeah. Oh, okay. So to trigger that shit all in her head, fam. Now, <sighs> and we know, and we know that in, in Hunger Games 2, mm. there were people in the team, the game makers team, yeah. that were rebellious that were rebellious and rebels that were pushing shit in her favor for her to win. Now, the theory too, yeah. you know her her designer, okay. Sina? Yeah, yeah. And she, he was the one making, like, the dresses and shit. What but every dress? single dress, it represented rebellion. What the Now, fuck? the theory goes that because in um, Catching Fire, in the book specifically, it oh. says that if a tribute is really uh, sought after, people can, people can actually buy you. Mm. They, can, they can spend their money to, to have dibs on you. So the theory goes that Cinna, her designer, yeah. paid the capital money so he has dibs on her Holy so that he shit. can do whatever he wanted with her and he was able to make her into the representation or into the fucking symbol of rebellion. Nah, fuck that, bro. Into the Mockingjay. Nah, that's true love, bro. I, I, there's no bees inserting love toxins into Katniss, bro. That's that's pure bro, love, fam. You don't know, fam. No, you don't no. know. <laughs> that takes away so much of the story because that's it's supposed to be natural love and like, oh, Peter, remember I'm not you. You forget me, and then she, she remembered. But 
the reading the book, yeah, she doesn't seem the type to really fall in love like that though. That's the, that's the reason like I believe it. Mm. That's the thing I. That's why I think it's real because everybody kind of has like an archetype. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she's not the. She's a survivor. Yeah, fan. she's like a fuck. Like whatever's happening right now. Yeah, she's yeah. a survivor. She doesn't care about love and shit. Yeah, she true. cares about her family. Yes, mm -hmm. but you know, I'm sure she would rather have like just survived. Yeah, yeah than yeah. think about him. But it was only until she was injected with all that shit. Yeah. That's when she started to fall in love. That's when she started to make decisions about him. <laughs> facts, facts. It's yeah. chemical, fam. That is true. You know what killed me too is like uh, the new Netflix special coming out with the, the Squid Games. Which one? Which one? So, so they're having regular people. Oh, I've seen that. I was trying to try out for that. <laughs> what? Yo, 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 I did. I tried to try out for that. I'm not gonna lie to you. I, but the only thing I had to make a video. Why? Why so, did you make it? I, I, I just ended up getting to it. Oh, I, I just ended up. Oh, yo, you know I, like, yeah, no, I should have done it. I should've you done should've it. never told me to. And then, like, while I'm watching it, all you see, <laughs> you're like, <laughs> like you freeze. You'll plot to someone on the film. <laughs> I'm just not on no, the show right now. That's actually so no, but it's so jokes because it's like uh, that that show was so popular and Mr. Beast already did that. Yeah, shit. yo, that's that's what that's why Mr. Beast is fucking smart as <laughs> shit because he sees opportunity where it, where it's needed, bro. Yeah, and uh, the the recent st stuff he's doing, so he he's going to all the third world countries and he's building wells, right? Yeah, and all you see, all the kids are like, yeah, Mr. Beast, right? Mm -hmm. And like. How can governments not do this? But Mr. Beast can do it like whenever he wants. Like, oh, you can, you want a well? You want water? Here it is. You know what I mean? This guy is God, man. Because <laughs> I think the way Mr. Beast does it, yeah, it's definitely for. It's not just for entertainment at this point. Yeah, it's 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 to inspire people to do the same thing, which True. is good. Because if you think about it, the biggest creator, and I think. God willing, he's meant to be the biggest creator. Yeah, hopefully. Because look at look at everybody else that's making content. Mm -hmm. It's if it's not for the greater of society, yeah. what is it worth? That's true. You know, yeah. like there's so many streamers that are like it's rah rah bullshit blah blah. Yeah, it's entertaining. Yeah, like we love watching it, and it's great for us for mm. our own enjoyment. Yeah. But yeah. if it doesn't make you a better person at the end of the day, uh -huh. or if it does the opposite, yeah, it makes you a worse person. True. How are, how is society headed if that's what we're watching? Yeah, it's so, funny too. Yeah, because a lot of people are saying that it's a cover up for something that's gonna come up that to cancel him because apparently he said something crazy on Twitter and that's why word? he did that. But at the same time, I want to believe that it's for good. You even know I mean? even if Mr. Beast came out and he did some like next cancelable yeah, shit, yeah, sins are forgiven, bro. Yeah, sins are forgiven. <laughs> bro, you know how much shit you done? He done. He's done enough. Bro. Who's that guy that? Uh, who's that gay guy on their their squad? Uh, I forgot. <laughs> Fuck, what's his I, name? I forgot his name. I, I, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I don't watch a lot of Mr. Beast. Yeah, uh, it's not Chandler. It's someone else, right? Yeah. But whenever it's so funny. So you know, Flight reacts. Uh huh. So whenever he goes up on screen, he'll be having a combo, right? And then he'll see that guy start talking, and he'll be like, <laughs> so the guy will talk. He's like, hey, what's up, guys? New video. And the guy, oh, because he hates. <laughs> no, he just hates that guy. <laughs> Every time, every time. And then he tried to explain it to his crowd. Was like, yeah. well, Flight, why do you keep doing that? He's like, so he goes like this, right? And then uh, Flight was like, nah, I had a bad burrito that day. <laughs> do you know the theory, though? What? <laughs> I, this is a theory. It's just a theory. But they say that in Mr. Beast's crew, yeah, someone had to <laughs> it was a bet. <laughs> I seen that, bro. I seen that. It was a bet. That he lost. One of them had to. One of them had to go, fam. I know. They had they, to. They, all, they all sat down and like, all right, yo, <laughs> we need representation. <laughs> last one to leave the table. <laughs> <laughs> last, <laughs> last one to leave the table. <laughs> no, that's fine. They did a mistake. <laughs> last, last the <laughs> No, no it's first one to leave the table. Actually, first one to leave the table. <laughs> last one. <laughs> nah, they were trying their hardest. Man. That's Yo, you never know though. Yeah, you never know. No, that's but I don't. He... I don't think so. Yeah, Personally, yeah. I don't think Mr. Beast is like that. Yeah, yeah, he is who he is. But it would be jokes if he was. Facts. Because at the end of the day, all of these mans we're regular guys. Feel me? Yeah. Like even uh Elon Musk. Mm -hmm. He's he's a weeb, bro. He yeah. loves anime. He puts. You know they they made the Elon Musk rocket pointy. Yeah. Just because. They resembled the dictator movie. Oh, you shit. know the dictator with um the, the same guy that did Borat and stuff. Mm -hmm, yeah, yeah. <laughs> there was like a scene where they made the rocket pointier because they wanted to look cool. Yeah. 
Elon Musk said, yo, it low-key makes it worse, but we just made it pointy just because of the movie. Word. He's a regular dude, fam. Yeah. He's a regular dude having fun. But he's a weeb. <laughs> yeah. He likes anime and shit, I too. I know. His pro- yeah, all his inventions are probably, like, based on... Yo, he probably made the Cybertruck as a Halo. It yeah, looks like to be the, honest. It yeah. looks like the, the Warthog, I think. It's finally coming out. Like, mans can actually buy Cybertrucks now. Because I feel mm. like I feel like um the reason they delayed it... Because remember, uh, Elon was like, oh, yeah, even our glass is bulletproof. And then yeah, he, like, yeah, he yeah. threw a rock through it, and then, like, it went through. Mm. So I think that's why they fixed it. You know what I mean? You know what's smart? Yeah. To make, like, a bulletproof car in these days, mm. it's pretty smart. Because yeah. if you think about it, everybody's on edge about something terrible happening. And if you could sell a commodity mm-hmm. that kind of has that little, like, oh, also, in the worst-case scenario, it yeah. might do this. Mm. It might save your life. Yeah. But technology is getting very scary, too, because um, recently this happened in South Korea, mm-hmm. where a guy got crushed by a robot arm because he thought that it was a, that he was a box. Oh shit! Yeah, so it was um in it glitched. One, yeah, I don't know though. That that's the whole conspiracy. So it happened um in a in a vegetable planting uh factory, right? Yeah, yeah. And like obviously they work around these bo- uh these arms. So there's a bunch of them in a row. Obviously they still have people just to monitor. Mm-hmm. But the robot arm is only a uh, program to pick up boxes, not people. Obviously that guy working beside it. He he's moving around, so it's not a box, you know what I mean? Yeah. So why, how would it glitch out like that, right? So the guy, he, uh, what do you call this? He saw something hovering over him, mm-hmm. and it picked him up. So the guy started flailing his arms while he's oh, doing it, right? Shit. Everyone's looking at it, trying to hit it's the like a movie, bro. yeah, trying to eject the button, and it was he got crushed. Like there was a conveyor belt where all the boxes were going, right? And the arm Ooh. crushed him. And the whole time he was still alive. Everyone's saying that, oh yeah, you can still hear his screaming. So there was like little holes in the conveyor belt, right? Mm -hmm. He got pressed through it, fam. Damn. While while he was screaming, like he was still alive. That you know when like the Anastasia. That's like like a final destination type shit. Exactly. And then like uh he got brought back up and then he got rushed to the hospital, but then that's when he died. But then now when the factory workers were saying, Oh yeah, we saw it. They said no um, uh, security footage was leaked out to the public. Mm. So they were like... So it's, it's hidden. It. Yeah, like some, it's, why is it hidden though? I think it's hidden because for the fact of not only yeah. for the liability of the company, mm. but also for the manufacturers of the robots. Because mm. what if it starts a whole recall yeah. and all of these different manufacturing sites that have that same robot, mm. they get recalled and boom, what happens? Yeah. They lose hella money bro yeah. what if what if it stops the whole production of robots mm. what if it stops ai from advancing yeah because of that one issue that's true because i think it really only takes one artificial intelligence to literally go out of its way to kill a human yeah and to then, change everything and make technology at a halt and mm. all of us would be like okay let's stop now yeah yeah thing, you know no but it's crazy too because it's like you can't send the robot arm to jail Mm. Like, you can sue them, but, like, really, like, there's no justice because no one's getting sent to jail. You know what I mean? Mm. They're, they're probably getting compensation, but that does compensation translate to a life? Theory, like, what if every single day you went into work, you would, like, you would, like, kick the machine? Nah, chill, like, chill, oh, chill, chill, <laughs> chill. Chill, that's... Fuck you. Nah, chill. <laughs> <laughs> every, like, every single day you clocked in, every single day you clocked in. And then one day, the, the, the AI just snapped. He's nah. Like, <laughs> nah, <laughs> no, that's so, no, no, I can't even laugh at that. Uh, RP that guy. I mean, bro. crazy. Yeah, but no, there's also an uh, an AI uh, movie coming out too, and uh, the parents didn't know. It was so crazy how they set it up. So they were attending like this AI movie. Yeah, and the parents were all of them were sitting in the front rows, right? Mm. And each one of the kids came up on the screen, and the kids were like, "Hey, mom. Hey, dad." Did you know this is really not me? It's AI. But they took all my... It only takes one photo for me to do this. Oh, I seen this. In the theater, right? right? Yeah, in the theater. And they showed like... um, uh, They're like, oh, this is like the worst it can be. And they put up like a porn with her her face on it and stuff like that. Do you really want this? And they were crying, fam. It was actually crazy. Mm. Like imagine... Like if I seen you up there saying the same shit. Holy fuck. That's what it is though. That's what the future is. And and we all signed on to it type of thing. So it's... it's Did we? Yeah, we did. Every single time you said accept uh, terms and agreement, it's raps. Fuck. 
It's raps. You didn't read it. You didn't read it, bro. And I accepted the, same, the cookies, fam. Yeah, and at the same time, too, like, you probably would still choose accept anyway. Yeah. Because if you want your Instagram and you want to connect with all these people, you better pr- press accept or you're just not going to be on t- technology in the first <laughs> place. You're not just going to even be using shit. Yeah. Because all of it's probably the same thing, folks. Mm-hmm. Even, like, the Siri. Yeah. Yo, they've been out of your voice, dog. Yeah. They've been out of your voice. And the new iOS. Nothing new. <laughs> the new iOS update, you can change Siri to your voice, which is weird because I don't know why anyone would want to talk to themselves. Yeah, but... that's weird. I'm going to change it like 50 cents. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, I haven't even put Siri on this phone yet. Good. I'm wondering if I should My shit's disabled. Not. My shit's dis- it disabled? I, dis- <laughs> I disabled it as soon as I... Because I was singing a song, right? Yeah. So I was like, Jumbo Ch- I-, I was singing Jumbo Chan Poppin' by Drake. And all of a sudden, I hear calling and then it called my ex by accident oh, and I was that's like, i'm like what the fuck what the fuck and she texts me right away yo bro you still miss me no as, ah! <laughs> no, as soon as I, as soon as i said that bro i just disabled siri because how bad can you mess up that how can you say her name and mess up the lyrics like that it was not that's nothing crazy close. low-key your phone knew yeah your phone has a mind of its own because yeah, it's ai true. at this point feel me yeah and it's like oh how can i fuck with him today <laughs> yeah <fuck laughs> like that. every time you dropped your phone every time you smash your phone on the table it's yo, yo, theory, yo, yo. This is funny. This is where all the people in the comments always say Carlos smashes his phone on the table yeah, every time. Do, Check this out. My phone broke. <laughs> no, yo, yeah, my iPhone 13. Yeah, shit, shit is busted. Like it keeps freezing. That's why because you keep smacking. It, it probably happens to smack it like this, bro. Oh, titanium. titanium. It's titanium. It's titanium. <laughs> No, but like, I think what happened, maybe the concussive force yeah. probably pushed all of the different components and like the motherboard, it just <laughs> went out of whack a little bit. So this is, this is you know, you know that thing where you plug in your headphones uh-huh. and if it's in the right like movement, you can still listen to music in the yeah. right position. When I use my phone, you have to be in like, um, I have to keep my, my hands still and then use my phone or else if I move it. It glitches. No, <laughs> no, the old phone, right? The old, not this one. Yo, that's this no, one's that's titanium. Crazy. Yo, this <laughs> Yo, is the 15. You should have never gave Carlos a titanium phone, fam. <laughs> look, look at the scratches on the phone. I know. Oh my god! But it's titanium though. See, but yo, he <laughs> has to mention that every time. I remember. Oh, so we went bowling, right? We, I think he dropped his phone at least three times. Like in the bowling lane, you hear like a, a clap, right? <laughs> yeah. But every time he's like, he looks up and says, "Titanium though." And I go. <laughs> I knew it got bad because at my party, right? There was a song playing. It was like, shoot me down, but I won't fall. <laughs> I'm I, I was in the middle of the match. Yeah. <laughs> Fam, I see Carlos pull, trying yo, his hardest before the line came out. He's like, shoot me down, but I won't fall. She was deep I, in my pocket. <laughs> and then as soon as the titanium, <laughs> I had to get the Velcro off the cargo, spam. Fam, that killed my mood because I was, I, I was like dancing that. <laughs> you have to show titanium. me a phone, bro. <laughs> but yeah, bro. It's titanium, bro. I know. Okay. <laughs> no, yo, low key. If um, if anybody's like in a situation for self defense, yeah. There's one thing I learned. You what you can really use is your phone. Mm. Like, can that deflect a bullet? I actually no? don't know. I don't can think it's enough. Deflect a bullet because I know it's enough to. It might stop a twenty two for sure. Okay, okay. But like something higher than that, maybe a nine mil, maybe. Yeah. If it's like thick enough. Mm. But it has to be this way. I don't think it's not going through. Like, yeah. It's gonna go straight through your phone if it's this mm-hmm. way. But this side, it might be bulletproof still. Really? Yeah. At least a little bit. Yeah. No, it is. It is like your phone is the biggest help. Yeah. Because like I remember one of my boys in New York mm-hmm. said that you know it's very dangerous. But if you ever felt like you're in trouble and like he what he would do is he would like clutch his uh, phone like it was a gun. So people thought that he would had a gun mm-hmm. and they would back off. But that's worse comes to worse. Like. You have nothing on you. You just pretend your phone is, you mm, know what I mean? I feel you, yeah. No, <laughs> but like in self-defense, if you jab this in somebody's throat. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you could. <laughs> you you could up, to be honest. Facts, bro. Because this, this is a solid piece of metal, bro. Mm. Like this too. Yeah. Even though it's not titanium. It's still yeah, yeah. a solid <laughs> piece of metal. I has to roast my phone. All right, man. We get it, man. <laughs> <laughs> You're rich. You can buy a titanium phone, man. <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> There, there's <laughs> what? There's a what, bro? 
DraftKings Casino is bringing you only the best classics like blackjack, roulette, and slots, plus exclusive games you won't find anywhere else. Trust me, guys, DraftKings Casino is one of the best gambling apps. I myself am a roulette fan, so I love using the DraftKings app to play roulette. It makes it super simple, super easy, and it's just a fun time. So you guys can go ahead and download the DraftKings Casino app now and use code JUMPPOD. New players can deposit $5 or more and get up to $500 in casino credits. That's code JUMPPOD, J-U-M-P-P-O-D, only on DraftKings Casino. The crown is yours. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER or visit www.1800gambler.net. In Connecticut, help is available. Problem gambling? Call 888-789-7777 or visit ccpg.org. Please play responsibly, 21 plus. Physically present in Connecticut, Michigan, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, West Virginia only. Void in Ontario. One per opted in you customer. Minimum $5 deposit maximum match of $500 in casino credits, which requires a one-time playthrough within seven days. See terms at casino.draftkings.com slash players choice for eligibility terms and responsible gaming resources. We've all been there. Those times you're feeling chill and you don't want to do too much, but you're hungry and you need some food. You're not trying to wash dishes or prepare any food that will take too long. The solution is simple. You got to order DoorDash. You guys can get the food you want delivered right to your door. DoorDash makes it simple. You can eat what you want when you want all you got to do is order through the app trust me guys everyone deserves to feel like a vip and with dash pass from doordash you can dash pass is one membership you need to get the most out of your doordash and everyday life dash pass members get zero dollar delivery fees and up to 10 percent off eligible doordash orders including groceries drinks personal care items and more dash pass makes delivery even more worth it helping members save more than 35 dollars per month on average plus dash pass delivers way more than just tonight's dinner, including special access to experiences, promotions, and Dash Pass exclusive menu items. All for only $9.99 a month. So sign up for Dash Pass now and you guys get your first month free. Put a little joy back into your schedule. Sign up for Dash Pass today. Use code JUMPERS, J-U-M-P-E-R-S, and get 50% off up to a $10 value when you spend $12 or more after signing up for Dash Pass. That's 50% off up to $10 value when you spend $12 or more after signing up for Dash Pass with your code JUMPERS, J-U-M-P-E-R-S. Subject to change, terms may apply. Sign up for more and become a Dash Pass member today. <laughs> Do you know there's a Mandela effect that I, I, I didn't know about? What? So you're a big Mario Kart fan, right? Yeah. So did you know that Rainbow Road actually has... Uh, what do you call this? Uh, what do you call those? Like gates, so you never the fall gold off. gates. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, you know about that? I said gold gates, right? No, because I'm remembering it. There was nothing like you. That's why everyone fell off that map. No, I remember gold gates though. You remember gold gates? I don't. You know, because I died like 15 times in that map. I know, I know there is a DS version where like there's no there's no gates, but there is one with gates for sure. There is. Yeah, fam. Because I seen it, I was like, this got to be AI. I'm from the other reality still. Really? I'm from the other reality. Really? Okay, that's weird. No, because uh, I think like an old N64 one, because I used to go to like a daycare in Scarborough. Yeah, yeah. And my mom would drop me off, and I remember lit, this, this is like core memory. Okay. Like I would play N64 with the other kids, Yeah. and it would be like Rainbow Road, because we would run that for some reason, yeah, yeah, that's and it would the gold gates. Check this out, though. Uh -huh. I have a theory, bro. Like little things that you remember, little core memories. Uh-huh. Their core memories for a reason in your life. Why? 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 Little do you know whether you'll use it or not, but the subtle details, whether you use your right hand or your left, mm. maybe you've seen somebody react one way or another. Yeah. These little core memories, fam, this is my theory, they'll come in handy later. That's the reason they're core memories. Mm. Like your soul, your soul made it a core memory because maybe later in life you will react you to a, a situation later will you really need it true like imagine um let's say you got your heart broke by a girl mm. and there's certain things that you remember you did you won't do with the same the same way because you remember those things yeah. or even let's say you reacted to something while you were a kid mm -hmm. and you realized okay this is good this is bad yeah. when you make a decision later on in life you'll probably use what you learned yeah. in those core memories but those those are really like it's so it's almost like watching a movie in your head. You know those moments? Yeah, yeah. Like you can almost remember the smell. You can remember like <laughs> you can, the so. sound. I think those are literally like a 
like a screen cap type of thing. That's crazy. Like somebody's watching the, the stream and then they yeah. clipped it. Oh, <laughs> nah, that's kind of weird too. I, I have another Mandela effect though, mm -hmm. like also very detailed. Mm -hmm. And this is for the, the true Home Alone fans. So you watch Home Alone, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So do you remember when um he's in front of that car and he's like... Which one, which one? In in Home Alone 2? I think so. Home Alone 2, where they're chasing after the guy, after the little boy, and he goes into the church. That's number one. Oh, yeah, number one. That's number one, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So before they go into the church, there's a line that uh, one of the guys say. So he goes into the church, and they, it pans, right? Mm -hmm. And then the, the the truck driver, he goes, oh, yeah, uh, he went in there. And then the other guy says, nah, I'm not going in there, right? Mm -hmm. But the the original one is actually... It gives him. Hold on, I'm gonna just show you the line. Yeah. I, I don't know if you remember this exact though. That's so like. So he goes into the church. Uh huh. Into the church. Oh, and he hides with the, the. Yeah. Yeah, but look. The nativity look, scene. Yeah, but look what he says. Maybe we're in the church. I'm not going in there. Me neither. So it says me neither, right? Yeah. But the original line everyone remembers is. Oh, I'm not going in there. That that place gives me the creeps. Me neither. <gasps> oh, I do remember that. You do remember that? I do remember that. Yeah, listen again. Look, he doesn't say it. I'm not going in there. Me neither. That's it. But everyone's saying online Yo. that that place gives me the creeps. No, I'm not going Yo, in there I either. I do remember that, actually. That's yeah. kind of crazy. <laughs> yeah. I remember it, too. That's kind of crazy. Because it, it's awkward without that line. It's just, I'm not going there. They probably took it out. They why? I think they probably took it out. Be oh, because religion? Yeah. Oh. That's why they took it out. Okay, makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah, they probably took it out for that. Because because there's a scene yeah. in uh, Lilo and Stitch where Lilo hides in a in washing washer, machine. Yeah. But it's not the they washer. Changed it to the, they changed it to a, a drawer. pizza box. Huh? They changed it to a pizza box. Like to cover a, a drawer. Okay, okay. Or like a box or something. Yeah, yeah. But the reason they changed it is because it's dangerous for kids. It is, yeah. Because yeah. you're going to start hiding in the in the dryer. Mm. So imagine a kid hides in a dryer and then it, it gets turned on. Yeah. Like God forbid, but theory theory goes like there was a case. Mm. And then because of that scene, they yeah. linked it to it. That's mm. why they stopped putting that dryer scene in Lilo and Stitch because really? it probably killed somebody. Wait, so it was actually changed? It wasn't just a Mandela effect? It was changed, yeah. Wow. This is changed. If you go on Disney Plus right now, yeah. scene is changed. No, that's actually a W for Disney though because mm. yeah, you could like... Yeah, because... It's it's very innocent, yeah. and of course it's innocent. But the thing is, yo, monkey see, monkey do type of thing, right? Yeah. You're like, a kid watching this. We're, yeah, we're like, kids watching this shit. We'll probably mm -hmm. copy it because yeah. I I catch myself too. Like when I was a child, I would do stuff because I saw somebody older doing it, yeah. and I thought it was cool. Yeah, yeah. And I think that little bit of us is always in there somehow. Yeah. You know. Facts. I like copy you saw it on if a I movie. Could, you know. <laughs> But even though, even with her adults, fam, like you want to do this shit like you, you see in the movies now. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, that's what it is, yeah. right? Like even um, you look at celebrities and shit, you want to do the same thing they do. Yeah. Same, they, same thing, bro. Yeah, same shit. Same shit. It always goes all the way around, fam. Nice. It always goes this way. History repeats it all the way through and it goes on and on and on. I lie. Now, there's a Fortnite theory. Fortnite, oh shit. Check this shit out. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> so, you know how Fortnite went to... Fortnite OG and it's the OG map. Back, yeah, yeah. So there's a theory that that map isn't actually OG Fortnite, but it's actually Fortnite in an alternate dimension. So what? it's not from this reality. Check this out. Cause uh, yeah, it, it's not. It's not the same. It's different. It's different, right? Yeah, yeah. So um, in what's that? What's that map with the farm? Uh, I don't know. Oh, sorry, I, sorry. What, what, what's what's the, what's the farm spot? That's a uh, I fucking forget. Something but, fields, right? Fatal Fields? Fatal, Fatal Fields. Yeah, yeah. Check this out. So Fatal Fields, there's there's a there's a there's a building. There's like a, a farmhouse. Yeah, the big one. And it's not there on the map right now. There's subtle differences throughout like if you play it right now on, yeah, on the yeah, yeah. OG Fortnite, it's, I know missing. What you're talking it's about. not there. I know what you're talking about. There's another one. There's another one. And um, Loot Lake? Yeah, Loot Lake is different too. Yeah. Now uh the loading screens. So the loading screens are actually OG Fortnite loading screens, but yeah. with different characters so they're oh. doing the same like points check this out let me see so for example yeah look this is the og oh. one and this is the one so, so this is like a futuristic one it's an alternate dimension yeah look, check this out let me see so this is the the fatal fields thing look, yeah loot, loot lake yeah, yeah loot lake is very different different too. different now theory goes uh -huh. the reason all of this happened is because 
of the Batman who laughs. You know who that is? What? So the Batman who laughs is actually Joker. Now, this whole comic and this whole character was made by Epic Games and Fortnite. Okay. Check this shit out. What I'm about fuck? to spill all the beans. This is what they're doing next season. No, so calm no, down. no. This guy's going to predict it. Watch. So the Batman who laughs... But I heard this from uh, from other like yeah, people yeah. looking into it. Mm -hmm. The Batman who laughs in the comic, he says, "This is exact lines." He says, "I've devoted my life to corrupting different universes, and with the zero point, the possibilities are infinite." Okay. So, theory goes that he changed everything in Fortnite, and he's manipulating the universes just like in Doctor Strange, just like in Loki. Oh. So he's playing like that Loki character. Also, the symbolism with the time machine. You know the trailer with the time machine and it takes them back into yeah, OG yeah, yeah, Fortnite? Yeah, yeah. You know how it's spread out like, like a web? Mm -hmm. And we all know that Marvel and Fortnite, they always work together. Oh. It literally looks exactly yeah. like the infinite like threads. Like uh, teleportation. In, in, um... Not even teleportation, uh -huh. the the different dimensions, the webs, mm. the different strings of realities. Yeah. It represents that. Word. So Loki, they're just taking a, a chunk out of what's going on right now. Yeah. Bro, all of these different movies are doing multiversal things. Mm. You don't think Fortnite's gonna do it? Yeah, no, that a hundred percent. They did it, anime, they did everything. They did everything. Yeah. So now this is Fortnite's time to do alternate dimensions and you know what they're gonna do what check next? this shit out let me see here. this is what they're gonna do next this is the perfect time to drop alternate dimension shit alternate dimension being first person mode on fortnite no yeah fam. yeah bro that's what they're dropping next watch that would be so tough watch bro because they know they know a lot of players they're going to call of duty uh yeah yeah battle New royale call of Duties. and they're going to all of these different games like apex that have the same Holy game mode shit. but are first person so this is the perfect time because of the alternate dimensions the alternate realities to turn fortnite into an alternate reality where it's first person no if they do that that's so perfect because you have everything in that game now mm -hmm. now the theory is the whole yeah. reason they dropped fortnite og yeah was because it was their last thread fam oh, so shit. the theory goes that they would only bring back OG Fortnite if the company is on a downhill, which it was, it was, it was which it is was. was now. But for them to drop that big of a hit, mm -hmm. bringing OG Fortnite back, they'll only do it if they're going to drop something crazy next. So that the next true. season or whatever they're doing after, because what happens is when they drop OG Fortnite, mm -hmm. all eyes are on Fortnite. Everybody's back. Yes. Everybody's looking. So now that you have everybody's attention, you're ready to drop something huge. Yeah, so that makes so much my sense. My theory, actually. they're no. dropping first person Fortnite. No, I actually believe, no, I, that might not just For be a sure, theory. For sure, bro. Yeah. For sure. It's so perfect, bro. It makes oh sense. My. It makes sense. Yeah. And like, you know, the there's an item. I don't know if it's new or old, mm -hmm. but it's called the Riff, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And a Riff, what it does, if you click um, R2, it transports you, like teleports you. Mm. So I don't know if that's also a hint into like the, the low-key like time travel and everything but that's a new item fam yeah it yeah. may be hinting to that too yeah because all of that shit what i love about fortnite there's actually yeah. a lot of lore there is there there's is there's a lot of lore there's even lore um you know that character midas midas he's, he's he's like the guy with the gold and shit everything he touches turns to gold oh no i don't know about so that guy. in in the recent season yeah yeah there's a character his name mm. is the big guy that gives you all the things? No, no, no. There's oh, another okay. character. There's another character. His name is... His name is Nolan Chance. So Nolan. there's a character named Nolan Chance. Check this out. <laughs> Nolan Chance in the Fortnite lore, yeah, yeah. he's supposed to be this mastermind thief. But okay. code word, mastermind. The only person they ever called a mastermind was Midas. Now, mm. theory goes that in this OG Fortnite, Nolan Chance is actually Midas, but the younger version. Mm, this so is another him. play on like yeah this is him before he turned evil. into Midas mm. because he was a great thief and thieves always want what oh. riches they want gold yeah, and yeah. Midas ended up being the person everything he touches turns to gold That's true. damn crazy the lore is actually pretty far yeah no and i don't know why like that was a like you said the perfect time because uh, it went trending like you know that the thing where it's like a game drops something is like I'm bring we're bringing OG back yeah and then every video on TikTok is don't talk to me on November the twelfth you know mm. why and then everyone's like why and then there's a bunch of comments saying OG Fortnite and shit like that yeah yeah no yo if they do if they do first person I, I'm telling you they're gonna do it I'm but you. the whole point of Fortnite is to be a not 
first person shooting game though but that's the thing like for them to do the alternate dimension shit and say yeah. oh this is what do you mean this is what fortnite always was Ah, they oh, play that that's that so, so fire perfect. that's yeah. so fire <laughs> like story wise pr wise double you. and you know what Round they did applause. you know what they did too that i realized so they have uh two uh versions mm -hmm. it's og fortnite and og fortnite no build yeah no build so, yeah. so what i'm thinking is obviously they brought the og fortnite back but everyone on fortnite regardless of you bring in the og map is a sweat yeah like you'll have why. those mans like this, this, this. that's why i only play no build <laughs> Cause I'm trash. Real shit. No, real shit. <laughs> so I'm like, that's so smart that they had two versions. Cause even the shitty players will mm -hmm. come back we to Fortnite. We can still play. We can yeah, still play. They're actually they're they're on top of it. Cause fam, you think you're nice until you play. And yeah. Oh my. Oh, until yo, the... it sucks. It sucks. Like it's not fun no more. You, fam, know you shoot at them once, they have a whole tower <laughs> constructed in one. She, she looks like a Lego game. Like, <laughs> holy fuck. And then I can't even do nothing. My character just stuck. I'm like, no, as soon as as soon as they built that first one, I'm I already logged out the game. Fam. <laughs> I'm already on 2K. Fam. Yeah, bro. facts. No, that's why they're super smart. So I think I think Fortnite they're gonna drop that. Mm -hmm. They're gonna drop like the craziest collabs. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. you think about it, there's they dropped um this is this is new uh -huh. on their Twitter. They they put up a huge list of okay. all these different um celebrities brands fandoms yeah of things that people might be into and they said okay let us know which one you guys want us to collaborate with right. what's crazy about fortnite they can deadass collaborate with anyone they want you know who they had on the list yeah they had rick owens oh my gosh damn they <laughs> with the rick Four? owens <laughs> yeah yo they can literally have everyone of any um uh, category playing their game like the yeah. emos the street kids you like can you can put anything my theory yeah i think this is way, way, way further into the future. Yeah. I think what they might do with Fortnite mm. is they're going to make it open. Open collaboration. So where you can build your own skin, your own packs oh, okay. and everything. Like Minecraft. Yeah, to pay and promote your stuff. Mm. So it becomes a thing of like, oh, let's go check. Because the Lewis Hamilton skin, Yeah, that was definitely just a PR move for them to push Lewis Hamilton. Mm -hmm. It's not because people really want a Lewis Hamilton skin. Yeah, yeah, no one wants Get me? <laughs> so... Uh, Imagine where it becomes in the future. Yeah. Fortnite. I'm not saying Fortnite's gonna die, but like mm -hmm. when they're not collaborating with the biggest of brands, they'll be looking at whoever and whoever. Yeah. Anything. Like, fam, they they made Cabby Lame a skin, right? Ninja a skin. There's too. so many other like char characters, influencers that they made. They have the world still. Have anybody they want, bro. Yeah. They'll put blues clues in that shit. They put anything. <laughs> Yo, bag that uh somebody tried using my credit card to buy hella games off the, the PlayStation. I didn't know this. Because I I, I called. <laughs> so, so fucking my card, like my business card, yeah. I I always tap it. I never insert insert the pin. So I'm at a restaurant, I tap it. Mm -hmm. The guy's like, Oh, it didn't go through. I'm like, okay, I'll just like little brush off yeah, and, yeah, yeah. and then it uh, goes through again it's like beep beep doesn't have anything mm -hmm. I'm like, what the fuck so i let my girl pay for my shit that shit was embarrassing <laughs> <laughs> but so i go and i'm like it's like 4 a.m i'm like yo why is my card uh not working so the guy's like oh there's a there's like five transactions that didn't go through the, uh, that was used on your card that we locked the card for you so i'm oh, like okay, okay can you blessed. list them off so <laughs> so some guy at like 3 a.m <laughs> so it was like 301 uh playstation game 86 dollars Declined. <laughs> 302. Another PlayStation game declined. <laughs> Fam, but you who tried that five times? <laughs> Wait, so your shit got compromised? Yeah, my shit got compromised. I, I got a new one. Oh, fuck. Even when I was booking my trip to New York, I, I was online and I was like, okay, I'm gonna use my credit card. Didn't go through. So I had to call, man. I was like, yo, who is using my card, bro? <laughs> and it was for the stupidest shit. It was like for for like a NBA 2K skin or some shit like that. that that's, what, that's what I accidentally did to his mom, remember? What? <laughs> I don't know this. Oh, okay. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I don't yeah, know if I should say that. I'll okay. say it later. I'll say yeah, it. It's yeah. funny. It's funny. Okay, okay. But uh, cut that part out. <laughs> but anyways, you know something like that happened to me at Rolling Loud. Rolling I told Loud, you, right? No. So remember we were at Rolling Loud, and there was like a there's like a food truck. Well, when when the owners they were fans. Yeah, the they bar, gave you free, right? right? No, they like blessed me a deal. Okay. But they asked for a pick, right? Yeah. This is fun. <laughs> I, I should have been smarter. Uh -huh. When I took the pick. I was holding my card oh, like that's this. A crazy guy. And you know how I always put up a peace sign? Yeah. I'm like, Carlin. Oh, no. Nah. <laughs> nah. And this is where I fucked up even more. Yeah. Because I bagged it. When I took the pick, 
with the other because they took two picks. Yeah. Like one with a guy, one with a girl. I think I accidentally flipped the card to the other no. side. <laughs> So you did one of these and one of these. Yo. No, you hit one of these. Because I'm not going to do the same piece sign for both picks. I got to switch it up. So I did one with a card this way, one with a card other way. Fam, two weeks later, I'm getting shit. I'm, yo, they, there was like casino stuff. Oh, no. Nah. I'm like, yeah, that's not me, bro. Yeah, yeah. It's like, I think they were trying to buy like barbecue or something. <laughs> yeah, bro. And yeah. then... And then I had to call the bank like, yo, this is not me, blah, blah. Yeah. And I think at this time I was even in New York, but they're making purchases in Canada. Oh, that's scary still. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> so they like, call you. I'm not, I'm not even there. Yeah, I'm not even there. I'm not even there, bro. Like, how the fuck? That's fucked. Nah, you actually have to be like super secure with what you do, man. You have to be careful. Yeah. Because at this point, that's why I don't even trust like using tap on my phone. Mm -hmm. Because like, I feel like a phone is easy to tap? hack into. I don't know. I'm not saying the safest. Because I I'm just like on some watchdog shit. Okay, yeah. Oh, when when it's a physical thing, I feel like it's harder for you to literally see the numbers and get it and then boom, now I have your information. But it's like a But on a phone where it's like all digital and shit you can't see, at some point, I think they're gonna be able to make like a targeted radio signal. Mm. Almost like a sniper. Yo! If that's a thing, that's fucked. Yeah. Like like a long distance scoped in radio wave That's so that can fuck. target into your phone and hack it from far. That is literally watchdogs though. Yeah. <laughs> like you go like this and you, you get the password. Mm. But imagine from like a kilometer away yeah. because I see I'm scoped in and it sends that that laser out mm -hmm. and it just goes and it's just hacking your shit Holy as long as it's like on that yeah. position. Mans have to be careful still. Crazy. And oh, you know, you heard about the, the guy who made the Corvette, Corvette, hop in and lay jet, lay jet. You know that guy? I know, yeah. Yeah, so that guy was on um TikTok live mm. and supposedly he got lined by a girl that he and invited over to his Yo, house. Yo, what? Lined. Like, he was... Like, they were gonna set him up. They were gonna set him up. Yeah, they were gonna set him up. So, he was on live and he was just chilling, right? They were chilling with a girl. Yeah. He looks, he, like, peeks over to his girl, the, the girl's phone and the girl has his... Se is sending his location That's to other girls. That's fun. And then... Uh, he's like, yo, yo, are you trying to like, what's going on here? Yeah. And then as soon as he keeps questioning and she can't give him a direct answer, he's like, oh, what are you doing? He's like, she's like, no, I didn't send you a location. Even mm. though you see like that pin, mm. bro. And he's like, yo, you have to get out of my house right now. And her excuse was, oh yeah, I'm just telling my friend that I have her charger and that where, where I'm at. Fam, if you if you're telling your friend you have a charger, you can just send them a pic of your charger. Yeah. You know, why send the location, bro? Mm -hmm. And everyone on the internet was attacking that girl, fam. Mm. She's like, I can't even work because a lot of people are coming into my McDonald's and like telling me, yo, you tried to line him. Like, holy oh shit. shit. It's fucked, man. Yo, internet snaps back so quick. Eh? Yeah, they do. They do. Super quick. Because because they're on they're on like a if you done someone wrong, I'm gonna do you wrong because I I reconcile with them or I relate to them yeah. more, boom. You can pick a side so easily. Mm -hmm. All the information, well, not all the information, but enough information is there yep. for you to choose something mm -hmm. and go ahead and go rah, 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 rah. And then, and then uh, there's the, another one. You see, you know, um, in the, I think she was at a baseball game, but she was just taking photos. And in the back, two girls, the mean girls, were like, fuck, like looking at her weird and stuff like that. And that picture got posted, right? And everybody on TikTok said, those girls are fucking mean. And they, fam, they got fired from their jobs. They can't even get no jobs just because of that video. Damn. So it's like, yo, even if you think you're like being mean to someone and it'll never show on the internet, fam, imagine waking up to death threats. To, That's crazy. To yeah. thing. Yo, it's actually crazy what the internet mm. does. It's because, Freak. bro, it, every, everybody... So do you think everybody's entitled to opinion? I, I believe so, yeah. personally. But the problem is, since that is what it is, you have to be also open and mature enough to realize what's what. Yeah. You know I mean? Because we can play this game. We can play the everyone has an opinion game. Mm -hmm. It's not even a game. This is what life is, right? Yeah. But for you to think of stuff negatively right away on somebody just because of what you feel emotionally then yeah, it's going to cause conflict. And usually that's what happens. Conflict on conflict on conflict because it's missing information. Um, shit, they didn't, they didn't understand. There's miscommunication here. There's miscommunication there. Mm -hmm. It's just a whole mess. The only way that you can really, really survive on social media and survive in this world is to pick your battles. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Pick your battles and be mature enough to realize, okay, am I going to waste my energy on this issue or am I going to realize what I can do right here? Mm -hmm. You know, and most of the time there's, 
there's this quote i forgot who it was but they're like everyone in the room can smell when someone has bad breath mm-hmm. but that person even though their mouth is right beside their nose they, can, they, they yeah. can't they can't know it's just it's meant that way that's true so you can tell everybody else and you can pick everybody else's his teeth but they can't pick your own mm. that's the thing so we know what's wrong with everyone else because we see it but then have you ever like took some accountability look back and seen okay i'm saying they're wrong mm-hmm. let me take a look like what have i done wrong first yeah yeah but we're not mature like most people aren't mature enough to do that yeah those girls didn't take accountability at all like they said oh yeah we didn't have no consent of them taking pictures of us but obviously you know that she's not taking a picture of you and they just they just continued being mean girls mm-hmm. and like it got worse <laughs> like they never took accountability so this is their karma bro see that's a problem especially when it it's like a internet thing yeah. that's why a lot of twitter beefs end up violent yeah is because people think it's safe behind a screen facts and you you practice that energy mm. when you when you bring that energy in person bro yeah some people don't play. <laughs> Facts, bro. Bro, it's out of my... Because you know how I, like, I'm, I'm usually... Even in Toronto, I usually don't even walk around. I just Uber everywhere. Yeah. So in New York, when I, where I was staying, it was, like, somewhere in Brooklyn. But I, I said... um I searched up where my location was, and I was like, is it safe to walk outside and shit, right? So yeah. <laughs> at night, specifically. so Because I wanted to walk to Barclays. Mm. So... Uh, I look at it, and it's like uh, above average crime rate. So I'm like, okay, fuck that. <laughs> so you I'm just like, Uber? yeah, yeah. But I'm in my bed. I'm like, man, like, am I gonna live my whole life, pussy? Like, like, I'm, I'm trying to convince myself, like, yo, just go out, step out your comfort zone, yeah, bro. Yeah, just yeah. walk out. Like, at least go to the convenience store, right? Mm-hmm. So I'm putting my my coat on, and my hotel room is like right by the window, so I can see the street, right? Mm-hmm. So I open my window, and it's like a movie, fam. Across the street is a bunch of high schoolers like fighting, fam. Wow. <laughs> so, so I take my jacket off. <laughs> <laughs> I said, yeah, fuck that call to Uber. <laughs> Fam, they're like, there's like a bunch of kids just after school, this, this, this. <laughs> and I'm just, yeah, fuck that. Let me take the Uber. <laughs> fuck my comfort zone, fam. It was I'm a sign. It was a sign, bro. Because it was a 20 minute walk to Barclays. I'm like, ah, oh, 20 minutes. I could walk around and see what's mm, up. But you but, never know, man. But then I seen that and it was like God telling me, like, yeah, fam, just yeah, take the yeah. Uber. Have have the sense of awareness and yeah, like, yeah. okay, if this is happening, this is definitely like, this is a hint. You know, in the, in the games, in the games, you're like, maybe you shouldn't do that right yeah. now. <laughs> you know, you know when you explore the room and you have to like collect objectives and shit. And it's like, well, one of them is like, uh, interact with the window. <laughs> it changed changed the whole progression of the game right there. And it's not even your voice; it's like the narrator's voice. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you shouldn't do that. <laughs> That's literally what it was, fam. Yeah, bro. Oh, shit. Sometimes I try to go in my life, like, seeing where those hints are. Yeah. It's funny because you can kind of make your life that. You can yeah, literally yeah. make your life a game if you choose to look at it like a game. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but I don't know why people don't. Mm-hmm. Why? Like, why don't people, like, have fun with it? But is that not having fun with it? No, like, I'm saying, like, I'm saying having fun with it in that way. Like, looking at life where you don't have to take it too seriously. Oh, I don't know. I think I actually don't know. There might just be too much stress on people. They, For sure. There's like yeah. there's a lot of shit going on. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. Like there's there's a lot of stuff like it's hard to look past. Yeah. But like the mans that are re- really usually carefree are the ones with, you know what I mean? Like always grateful. They know they're they're privileged with stuff, you know what mm. I mean? But a lot of people can't look past that. You know? Yeah. It's like, fuck, why didn't I have my coffee? Fam, you're lucky you woke up. I know, exactly. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah that's so what I'm saying. saying. Yeah. A lot of people are not in that mindset because it's like, yeah. I think it's mindset before everything, bro. Hundreds. Like, low key, this is this is super crazy to say, but a mindset, like a good mindset, mm-hmm. is worth more than a million dollars. Yeah, man. 100%. Because you can make that million with the mindset. Mm-hmm. And some people with a million don't even have the mindset. Yeah, ex- no, and even if you don't get that million dollars, but you have that mindset, who said that you're not happy? Exactly, bro. You know what I mean? Yo, I met some really happy dudes that I know that weren't, like, that rich, but you know mm-hmm. what I mean? They appreciated everything. In rich life. is never, rich is never the catalyst, fam. Rich yeah. is never like why they're happy. Mm-hmm. It's it's what they want to do and if they're doing it or not. Yeah. That's what I've learned personally. Like they found out exactly who they are and they're very comfortable with who they are, mm-hmm. and they know everything. Whether they're gonna have fun doing this, having fun doing that, or if they've already explored it to really make a good judgment on it. Mm-hmm. Those are the people that are truly happy. Yeah, because I think. It's very hard to say, oh, I'm not going to like it. I'm not going to like it when you haven't actually done it. Mm-hmm. But those people that have and the people that know themselves well enough through those experiences, because every single experience, you learn yourself like that much better. Yeah, 100%. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because I feel like 
like now that I'm getting older and I'm I'm learning more, I'm thinking like obviously money is not the the, the meaning to life. It's yeah. like it's more like um experiencing like every aspect it has. You know what I mean? Because I didn't come from money and and it, when you go from oh yeah having some money now to a thing, I experienced that and I'm it's grateful for that. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Or like just going going to like the Philippines, experiencing that type of life, and then going back to my normal life. Mm-hmm. Like I feel like that's the meaning. Like just ex- experiencing and being able to, uh, what do you call this? Like appreciate stuff. Yeah, you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, what, what I what I love about like my experiences is, I've I've lost a lot before. Mm. You know what I mean. Yeah. So now that I've had those feelings and I know what that feels like and I know how to push through it Mm -hmm. a win means that much more exactly no and a win is never where it ends because you're constantly moving toward the meaning of the win it's not even it's not even the win itself it's like why did i feel good about it Mm -hmm. is it because everybody else is happy that i won is it because i feel that i've won or is it because the work that i put in and the experiences that I've learned, yeah. these are the things that Those are the, the win, yeah. rather than, oh, this is the trophy. That's what I'm saying. Because everybody can get a trophy. Shit, you can buy that at Value Village yeah. if you guys want. Feel Bro, me? that's literally the the whole, like, that statement of it doesn't matter about the destination. It's literally about the journey. Bam, that's literally life. It doesn't mm. matter. Like, everyone wants to get to that destination. Fam, the destination is death. You know, experience life. Mm-hmm. Ju- the journey is life. Mm-hmm. Is you just have to know you yeah. and know what you want to do. Yeah, that's literally all. That's literally all. But obviously, like I would, I would wish for everyone to to strive after things that are good for them. Mm -hmm. Now, I mean, you can't just say that to like somebody that's addicted to drugs, you know? (laughs) Like, Like, this is no, no, you want and do your thing. Like, (laughs) I'll be like, make sure it's good for you. Make sure it's good for you. Crazy coke actor is listening to this. Like, you're right. (laughs) You're right, Carlos. Yeah, like do what's good for you. But at the same at the same time okay, I'm not gonna say that. <laughs> that might no, be- no, at the same time though, like there's there's mans that um their whole life is just like you know what otaku is? Nah, what is that? So uh, otaku is <laughs> otaku is like um my bad, my bad for laughing. It's like all they do is like sit inside, read manga game. Okay. Yeah. yeah. That's hard. What I'm saying is they're probably happy though. Yeah, they're happy. I hope out. so. I hope so. Yeah. Will me? But if they're not, that's the thing. If they're not they should go outside and, and experience because maybe something out there will make them happy. True. If they're not. True. Maybe that's what their comfort is. Yeah. And that's that's the juggle, right? It's like you know what you you are and you know what you love. Mm-hmm. It's the comfortability that keeps you there though. Yeah, yeah. But if you're the type to stay there, it's cool. Like mm-hmm. there's nothing wrong with that. You're allowed to stay. But the people that want to do greater things, Facts. comfortability is the one that you have to battle. That's that's the real fight. Mm-hmm. Fam, everybody Everybody, like, everybody can do something they're good at. But to do something you're bad at and be great. Yeah, that's crazy. That that's means you different. put time. That that's means different. you put time, fam. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's true. No, because one of those, uh, I seen uh, those otaku type of people. Yeah. Who, like, for sure he had, like, social anxiety, like, bad. Mm-hmm. And, like, one of these YouTubers, it's good when a YouTuber, like, a prankster YouTuber knows when to flip off the switch of, like, trolling. Cause he came up to the guy, he noticed it, and he was like, "Yo, you're a great guy, man." And he just gave him gave him like words of like encouragement. Oh yeah, you're a great guy, man. Oh, oh I seen this video. Yeah, actually. yeah, you're yeah. very strong. It was the black guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. He's like, "Oh, you're very strong." And like, I-, I love to see that shit because it's like, yeah, you know how to turn it off. Mm. And then there was another one where, uh, I think it was fuck Lofi. It was Lofi and another guy. So they were at a like um. What do you call it? a tailgate with their jerseys on? Yeah, and they seen an oh, opposing seen guy, this. and the guy turned around. He special needs. Yeah, and then he they were like, "Oh fuck, uh, go Bears!" <laughs> like he knew exactly. Because they're gonna press him. They're gonna press him at first. And the mom kind of like knew what was going yeah. on, so she's like, "Yeah, go Bears!" Yeah, and then they walked away. <laughs> but yo, thank God they didn't do anything out of the ordinary. I know. <laughs> Oh man, because that guy is super nice, bro. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. More, most of the time, like everybody's, everybody's a good person. You just gotta find where that good person is yeah. within them. And sometimes they don't want to show you because that's their way of being a good person to you. Hundred percent. You know, because, yo, honestly, like, there's sometimes I want to be to myself and like maybe I'm not the most outgoing, mm-hmm. but that's not necessarily because I don't like people. Yeah. It's just like I don't like people at that moment. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Like you have to. You have to understand, like, some people, they have their peace in, in ways that aren't used to yours. Mm-hmm. You know, like, 
there's certain ways they can have their peace that you wouldn't understand. And yeah, that's, that's fine. That's big. That's big. Because we get annoyed. Like, yo, like, why aren't you talking to me? Bam, he's probably in his element right now. Yeah, like <laughs> he's I mean? doing his thing, fam. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And um, even, even when people are doing things out of the normal, I would say it's the same thing, too. It's like, mm. yo, let him do his thing because that's how he likes it. If you don't mess with it, you can leave, bro. You don't have to, like, you don't have to knock on somebody, especially if it's negative. Yeah. But if there's some, uh, like, it goes hand in hand with, like, don't judge a book by its cover. Because, mm-hmm. bro, somebody, um, let's say, graffitiing a wall, that's their outlet yeah. instead of killing themselves. Mm. You get me? Yeah. Someone, like, speaking out in class, that's their outlet instead of cutting themselves type of thing. Yeah. But you never know. Don't judge a book by its cover. Yeah, mans don't realize that. And though. try your best to understand everyone. Yeah, I know. That is true. But no mans realize that, to be honest. They just mm. think like, oh, that's bad. Yeah. So be a better person yeah, still. Just find be a better you. Person. And if you're lost, man, God will f- let God lead the way. Yeah, facts. You know I mean? Facts. <laughs> all right. Thank you for watching this episode of the Jumper Jump Podcast. Make sure to comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Make sure to go to Apple Podcasts, Spotify Podcasts, download those episodes. We're rising the charts because you guys. Yo, if you made it this far, let me know who's on my sweater. <laughs> who's on my sweater? Yes, sir. All right. Jumpers Jump out. Deuces.